Hi, Stark Centeno, and I get asked all the time by CCI patients whether or not CCI can cause breathing problems and or sleep apnea and or other issues with the airway. Now, I see CCI patients all the time during the PICL procedure who have obstructive sleep apnea. It seems to me like it's too common in my CCI patients. In addition to that, we also see these same patients have lots of different sleep studies before they even get to us. So this is an interesting case from a pa of a patient from Europe who comes in with type 1C uh, CCI here due to his dramatic change in his BAI measurement from flexion to extension. And he also probably has some type 2A here, uh, CCI. But one of the things I noticed is that his history is quite dramatic. His number one symptom is breathing and sleeping issues. Now we've seen that before in a handful of our CCI patients. In fact, we've seen that go away when we treat their CCI. And in looking at his flexion extension MRIs here, what was really interesting is the dramatic change in his airway size from extension here to flexion. Uh, so huge change between those two. The question is, can you use flexion extension MRI to actually make that kind of diagnosis? I pulled four other flexion extension MRIs that I had in CCI patients, and those are on the screen. As you can see, if you look at that black area, the, Three of four don't really have a big change from flexion to extension, but one does have a big change. So this remains an open question to me, which is, can you diagnose a collapsing airway on flexion extension MRI? And if so, how would you do that? Again, we've seen patients with airway issues and we've seen those airway issues correct once we start treating their CCI. So it's an interesting finding on this MRI. This guy's got an interesting presentation. He has other CCI symptoms, but airway and an inability to sleep is number one. In fact, he's quite sleep deprived. So we're gonna treat his CCI and see how that goes and see if he fits into that category of patients where you correct the CCI through something like a PICL procedure and then their airway improves. But I thought this was an interesting finding to share. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.